Honestly, I didn't think this battery would hold up to the abuses of kayak fishing, but I was wrong. And I'm talking about the Litime Lithium Ion Battery, specifically the 12 volt 100 amp hour. I've been lucky enough to test it out for several months now, and I gotta say, I was super skeptical at first, but it's impressed me overall. So let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this battery. I'm gonna start with everything that I don't like about this battery. The biggest thing is just how big it is. Now, I knew going in that a 100 amp hour battery has got to be big. I wanted all that power to run my trolling motor so I could make long runs, not worry about it dying. So I understood that it was big. I just didn't realize how much space it takes up in my kayak. Thank goodness I've got a big, long 12 foot kayak, but if you've got a smaller kayak, you're definitely not gonna have room for a 100 amp hour lithium, lithium battery. You know, that's really hard to say. That's another complaint I've got. Their name, Litime, it looks like Litime, and that's how you would think it's pronounced. That's how I keep wanting to say it, but it's Litime, like lithium. So that might be another con to their name. When I first opened the box, I was super skeptical because this battery just looks cheap. I don't know how to really define it necessarily, but the looks just look cheap. Maybe it's that cheap, shiny looking plastic. Maybe it's just black with their orange logo. I don't know what exactly it is, but the battery definitely does not look high end, but it also doesn't cost nearly as much as a high end battery. So, you know, I can deal with it not looking as expensive when I pay half the price. The last con that's kind of con, kind of not, is I just haven't had enough time with it to know if it cycles 4,000 times. And what I mean by a cycle is you charge it once to 100%, run it down, charge it again, that's a cycle. 4,000 cycles is a long time. It has a warranty of like five years. So in the several months that I've had it, there's just no way that I could run it that much, even if I was fishing every single day. All right, so let's move on to what I did like about this battery. When I first picked up the box, I was blown away by how light it was. My grandpa, who isn't allowed to pick up heavy weights anymore because after back surgery, I had him pick up this box because I knew he would not believe me that there was a battery inside, a 100 amp hour battery at that. And then my dad came over and I was doing curls, acting like I was working out with this battery, saying, yeah, dad, can you do this with a 100 amp hour battery? And he was amazed. And then I told him that it was a lithium and I really wasn't that strong and he was disappointed in me. I don't think he was really disappointed, but it was shocking at how lightweight it is. So I really like that in kayak fishing because I've got enough gear that weighs it down. Heck, my kayak is heavy enough. So adding, I don't know, it's probably 15, 20 pounds isn't that big of a deal. And it's definitely a lot better than adding the 50 to 75 pounds of an AGM or a lead acid battery. I've been stuck using a trolling motor and my battery died. That's why I wanted to get as much power as possible and this 100 amp hour is just that. I have yet to even come close to running it down while on a trip. Heck, I've been on four or five trips in a row without ever charging it and never had a problem with it. So it's super long lasting. That's all I've got to say about it. I absolutely love that because sometimes I forget to charge the batteries. It also has a battery management system, BMS. And all that means is it protects it from getting too hot, too cold and exploding because exploding battery in your kayak would be a bad day. So the battery management system is ideal for kayak anglers. And the other thing that I've kind of previously mentioned is how stinking cheap it is. It's half the price of some of the high end lithium ion batteries. Now there is a caveat to that. It's half the price because it's only got a five year warranty and the higher end batteries that I've looked at like Dakota lithium have a 10 year warranty. So in theory that Dakota lithium should last twice as long. Therefore it's really about the same. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't had this battery long enough to be able to test that theory, but if you're looking for a cheap lithium ion battery, this might be the route to go. Would I buy this battery again? Yes, I would. And here's why, because it's cheap. It got me on the water fast. The only thing that I would change and Litime actually has a newer group 24 size battery, which is a step or two down in size, but it's a hundred amp hours. I would go with that group 24 battery instead of the group 31 battery just to save that little bit of space, especially if I was in a smaller kayak. I'd also go with this battery because like every other kayak angler, I'm looking to save weight, save space, and these lithium ion batteries do just that 
especially if you're running a trolling motor. Now, if you're just running sonar, you don't need a 100 amp hour battery. You probably only need like a 25 at the max. That's actually what I run with mine and I have yet to have any problems with it. So even though Lit Time sent me this battery to test, I would absolutely recommend buying it if you need a battery for your trolling motor. Lithium ion batteries are taking over kayak fishing and for a good reason. They're lightweight, they're a lot more compact, but they're also more expensive. If you'd like to learn more about lithium batteries versus AGM batteries versus lead acid batteries, I've actually got a video down right below me that you can check out now, and I can't wait to see you there.